What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So the Pro Pro 2023 is in the history box. And as expected, Samson Dauda wins his third show of the year. In other words, the sky is blue and the water is wet. The way he showed up here at Prague, I saw some people saying that if he was this dry at the Olympia a couple of weeks back, he could have been much more dangerous for both Hadi and Dara Glinsford. And here only Michael Crizzo was the one who could push him a little bit. And that he did. I will talk about Michael Crizzo just in a minute. But Samson's shape, his aesthetics, the way this guy flows, and his sheer mass, that is just unmasked. The way he has been promoting the sport after the Olympia even though he didn't need to compete, that is truly admirable. And even though Michael Crizzo was improved compared to the Olympia a couple of weeks back, but Samson is just in a league of his own. So Michael Crizzo came in second. And although Samson won, but we should all appreciate on how far Crizzo has come. That too in such a short amount of time. The improvements that he has been able to make is just amazing. He still needs to fill some gaps in his physique. But no one can deny that this guy is truly a freak of nature. He has one of the best arms in the world. His quads are amazing. The detail in his back has been superb. He needs to watch his midsection especially in between poses. And I'm sure with another offseason under his belt, he's gonna improve the width of his back as well. And he is gonna be so much more dangerous. Now let's talk about the surprise of the show. Rubil Mosquera aka Naxila was making his pro debut here and he was able to beat Nif and Asia and no one was expecting that. And even though there are a lot of people who think that Nathan should have been third, but the thing is that the sheer size of this man, that is absolutely nuts. So what did you guys think? Was it a fair call? I wanna hear your thoughts about this. But all in all, we have to admire that this guy is the biggest freak of them all. He is the freak of freaks. So this was just his first pro show. And if he can fix the issues and fill the gaps of his physique. Which I don't know if that's even possible. Whether it's genetic or the way he has been training or whether he needs a different coach. But if he can do that, he is gonna be such a force in the future in the men's open. So Nathan Diesha came in fourth. Not a good end of the season for Nathan. He lost to two guys in two back-to-back -back shows who were making their pro debuts. First to Har Samdi and now to Rubil Mosquera. And I am sure he is gonna work on his physique even more than before and come back better than ever in 2024. I mean this guy had two bicep tears prior to this contest run and still he showed up at his all-time best in different shows. But now it's time to sit back, relax and let his body recover. So another surprise for me here was that Roman Fritz didn't even place top 6. John Turek placed 5th and Yan Liang or otherwise known as Xiaoming Yan was placed 6th here. So I think it's about time for Roman Fritz as well to shut the season down and start a productive off season. I mean this was his 7th show of the season. So in 212 division, Ahmad Ashkenani won against Christian Zagarella once again. It seems like that the judges still prefer mass over aesthetics. Because now it has happened in two different shows. And although Christian Zagarella is as aesthetic as they come, one of the most beautiful physiques out there, especially in the 212. But still, he lost to Ahmad Ashkenani twice. And keep in mind, there is a huge number of bodybuilding fans who believe that he should have won both these shows. But I guess there is a reason Ahmad Ashkenani has been placing in the top 5 at the Olympia for as long as I can remember. So do let me know what is your opinion about this outcome. In classic physique, Ors triumph over Michael Double. But Michael really gave him one hell of a fight here. So unlike some of the other top guys, I'm not so sure that Ors is gonna shut the season down just yet. The way he has been showing up at different shows, getting better from one show to the next, it's truly remarkable. The only two things that he needs to be an Olympia title contender are one his biceps and secondly his back. If he can bring up those body parts in this upcoming off season, he is gonna be dangerous for sure for Ramondino in 2024. Now all that being said, I truly believe that Michael Debole should be appreciated here. He is fighting the third best guy in the world and he didn't make it easy for him. In fact, he was winning some of the shots. So both these guys brought bear packages compared to the Olympia a couple of weeks back. So I am really looking forward to their physiques after this upcoming offseason. So that's it from Prog Pro. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.